Welcome back. We are here looking at the markets and this is going to be my daily forecast for March 25th, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and let's get to it. So we'll start by looking at the indices and this is the SM, this is the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we had a really nice day today. NASDAQ is up more than 2%, 2.18% to be exact. And uh, as it looks at this current stage, we took out the previous highs from, from yesterday, yesterday and uh, now it looks like we are going to go and test 15,000. We have a double top here at the 15,000 and we also have the 200 moving average. If we take out the 200 moving average and this is a double top, then it is very likely that will go significantly higher. So this is kind of the area at the moment that I am looking for. Uh, if we break above this moving average here, uh, then there's technically nothing that prevents this from going back to the all-time highs. There are there are things that are very concerning in the market. Uh, for instance, there are going to be interest rate hikes, um, seven to eight, depending on which member of the Federal Reserve is is, um, is uh, commenting. But there are going to be at least several uh, interest rates. Uh, uh, in 2022 and also in 2023 mainly due to the fact that the u.s economy is uh, doing really well and uh, inflation is just getting completely out of hand we can also look at for example the u.s 10-year that is also rallying significantly and there's technically a competition between um, stocks and bond at the moment because it, one or another is going to win you're not going to have uh, bonds just completely um, going to the top and stocks going uh, to the all time highs at the same time. Uh, either of these is going to uh, win this technically competition. And uh, in the next, probably tomorrow or next, in the beginning of next week, we'll see whether or not uh, this is going to break out because this technically means that there's going to be uh, not that many hikes. hikes and um, also that they are not going to be 0.5 but instead of 0.25 each time and uh, therefore it will be more bullish for stocks than uh, and therefore that's kind of what the ball street is betting on at this current stage but if we were to break below the 50 moving average then we have the middle of the bullish bound down here at the 13 uh, 14k give or take and after that to the very bottom so most of the fear that was in the market has kind of gone away. We have seen this before in the recent month. We saw it here. We had a massive rally and then completely fell apart. Rally and then fell apart. So if we get a comment from the Federal Reserve that this is going to, that they're going to uh, start increasing interest rates and uh, be very aggressive about it, then we could see this market completely tumble. But at the moment, it is rallying. You can also see the VIX, it has been steadily declining. So if you look at the S&P 500, we can see also here, it took out the double top from, from uh, or the top from yesterday. And now it looks like we're heading towards uh, uh, 5,000, no, 4,500, 4,000, uh, 4,600, give or take, or this uh, double top here, very similar to, to the NASDAQ. Um, it looks, much more bullish than the Nasdaq. So if we take out this, then there's technically nothing to prevent us from going back to the very, very highs. If we turn around here, then we need to take out the, the 50 moving average, uh, roughly at 4,400, and then 4,350, and then we can go to the bottom. If you look at technical English, MACD is very bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is also bullish, and there's a lot of room to the upside in the S&P 500. If you look at the Dow Jones, Dow Jones very similar here, but, here, but not, not as uh, bullish as uh, the NASDAQ and the S&P 500. We are basically in this um, in this space here of roughly uh, 30, uh, 34.8 and uh, 30, uh, 30, 34.3, give or take. And if we were to break above the 200 moving average, then we'll most likely go and test this area here at 35.8k and break below this, then we open that opens the door to the middle of the bullish band and then to the very bottom. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish 
as well. So for the European market, we can see the DAX. DAX is hanging on, but this does not very really look very good um, for the DAX. So we did fall off a cliff, rallied up towards the 50 Fibonacci retracement is around this area here. We have the 50 moving average right here. And uh, if this were to drop, then we'll test the middle of the Bullinger band first, roughly at the uh, 13, uh, 14K, and then we'll drop all the way down to the very bottom here. If we were to take out the 50 moving average, then the 200 moving average, and then beyond. But still, at this current stage, it still looks very bearish indeed. Uh, MACD is bullish in bearish territory. Stochastic is, uh, has crossed the signal line, is becoming bearish, and, and the RSI is flat at this point. So let's look at the, the VIX and VIX kind of gives us an indication of uh, what could expect for the volatility. There's a negative correlation between the VIX and, and the indices and stocks in general. So usually when the VIX goes down, volatility um, decreases and that's, and that's more bullish for markets because uncertainty is something that market doesn't like and when the wix increases uncertainty also increases so it has been steadily fallen since we got to the highs here at 30 uh, 36 uh, uh, and at the moment we're trading at the 24 so we could be heading towards all the way down to 21 and that's where we find that 200 moving average and this should be a uh, major support at this current stage Look at the MACD, it is uh, bearish, stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI, but there's it's getting into oversold conditions. So it's just a matter of time before we see this uh, turnaround. And um, at this current stage, it kind of looks like uh, we'll have another two, three days of this falling. And that would also give uh, us, us time, for example, the, the NASDAQ in order to climb to 15K and then probably turn around. That most likely is what we are looking at this current stage. So I will be looking at the VIX, whether or not it finds major support and starts turning around and also the NASDAQ, whether or not that is uh, is correlated because usually they are heavily correlated. So let's look at the energy market. We can see that oil has pulled back quite significantly, 3.25%, trading at 111 uh, dollars per barrel and at this point it kind of looks like we're heading back towards the middle of the bullish band roughly at 107 seven, if that drag breaks. breaks then we could drop to 100 and probably the 50 moving average down here at 96. so the market is kind of getting used to uh, uh to the bad news from from eastern europe uh, even though it's a uh, horrific news every single day uh, the market is kind of has kind of uh, gotten used to that news. We have not seen these um, massive moves as we saw here, and then fall down and so on. So um, it, it is to be seen. My, we're still in uptrend, and uh, uh, this is not very very healthy. It's um, kind of so things that basically can ruin your account. It's more likely to it's more favorable to be trading like this because it's 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 taking the easier if you look at the macd it is um, bullish at this point stochastic is becoming bearish and so is rsi so we may see a few more days uh, where this falls towards support but overall it's still in uptrend if you look at net gas we can see that it completely uh, over uh, bought at this current stage it's also running into uh, these two candlesticks and also over here we're running into um, an area which in the past has been a major uh, major resistant and that's kind of also what i expected we're running us into the the, uh, the yeah, season, season of the year where uh, demand for natural gas will fall off a cliff so even though we have uh, uh, energy crisis in the world and this is still the European, the United States market, and um, and uh, when that demand decreases, this will also fall. If you look at periods, um, for example, last year, this is March back in 2021. We were down here. We're two point uh, two point five dollars. We're trading at the five point five five point four at this current stage, and uh, there is not a lot to justify for this increase in price 
other than uncertainty in the market because still, this is still the US market and, and transporting uh, liquid uh, gas is really difficult. So even though Europe has is in high demand for liquid gas, it's still very difficult to, to transport this. So uh, that will take time and uh, in order to build that infrastructure. But if you look at the MACD, you can see that it is uh, bullish, the stochastic is bullish, and so is RSI. But we are getting into our bot uh, conditions uh, in the next few days. If you get another day like this, then it will basically fall off a cliff. If we pull back from here, uh, then uh, $5 should be um, resistance support. So should the middle of the bullish band, 4.7, and then here at the uh, 50 and 200 moving average at uh, 4.5 and that's probably as far as this will go um, well depending on um, uh, storage and so on if you look at the US uh, US dollar that is also, that's also important, important especially, especially for for oil we can see that we have a triangle triangle shape right here which we are about to a break out from sorry and there is it right so so we're about to break out test this corner here if we break to the upside then this will go significantly higher you can also make a, a, the the argument that this is a bullish flag pattern meaning that we could see this rally significantly the upside and that will be significantly bearish for um, most uh, commodities as they are basically uh, as the uh, us dollar is uh, the currency or uh, the petrol dollar if you call it so in order to buy oil you basically need dollars and if they were they're more expensive then it's more expensive to buy oil and therefore demand for oil goes down but this is looking like a bullish flag you can also make um, this argument that we're about to break out of this uh, triangle and uh, it's, uh, it's be interesting to see where whether or not this goes to the downside or to the upside going to the upside it will be bearish for oil if it goes to the it breaks to the downside it will be bullish for oil so uh, if you look at the market in general today uh, big tech stock were uh, had a really nice day today especially uh nvidia um, and the chip makers were doing really well and that was basically the ones that were uh, pulling the, um, the nasdaq to these highs it'll be interesting to see what happens tomorrow whether or not the momentum will continue even though there's uh, a lot of uncertainty in the market both when it comes to the war in the in the eastern europe when it comes to the treasury bond as you can see they are rallying as well and usually when this rallies it rallies it is bad news for stocks because this is a way more uh, safe. safe investment and as this becomes more valuable and then it uh, also becomes more attractive for investors so keep an eye on this it's not um, uh, not even close to where we were back in 2019 but as interest rates are going to um, increase and then the value of these uh, bonds will also increase over time and that will uh, certainly be very 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 negative for most of these tech stocks especially tech stocks so hope you find this helpful you will support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much